Shall we begin? Let's begin now. All right, hello there and welcome. Uh, this is a very small kit review. <laughs> Right, it's the uh, military miniatures, and this is the 135th scale German uh, fuel drum set. Now, I've already done a review on the Jerry Can set, uh, but I will compare them because there is quite a bit of difference. This is this one was actually made uh, 1995, I think it was. Uh, 1995. Right. This one was made 1995. Uh, this one consists of oil drums and jerry cans. Uh, turn it over on the back. There's no instructions. You get the instructions on the back, and we have got some in English. And um, what I have noticed is that the jerry cans actually come in uh, four pieces. You've got the two sides, and then you've got a separate handle, which the other jerry cans, they haven't got the handles, so you're missing that handle in the middle, which doesn't look right. And also, it's a lot of mucking about trying to clean the actual cap up to make it look reasonable. That's one big difference. Uh, also, these drums, the actual plastic's a lot thinner. So that is better, but we will we'll, we'll do a little bit of, bit of a comparison. So that's what you've got on both sides of the box, and I shall have to manually focus this back in again just to show you what's on this side. Uh, just bear with me. All right, it's just showing you in standard green and desert yellow on one side. Uh, then it's just showing you in German grey, uh, German grey with a white cross and uh, desert colour. The same with the barrels, standard green for your grey and your dark yellow for your desert. So you can, if you was buying these for a little diorama, you could be using it on either, you know, your desert one. Uh, there's not a great deal on the box. Now I've taken every. Oh, let's refocus back in again. Sorry about that. There we go. Now I've taken everything out of the box because there's not much. You get your normal declaimer sheet that if the staples attack here and uh, you know cause you serious injury or if you eat the plastic, they're not going to be responsible. Normal stuff. Uh, comes in bag, two sprues. Like I say, I've taken all the uh, staples out, so we're not going to get injured. But what I'll do is I'll pause it, I'll drop the camera down, and we'll have a good close look at these. Right into the first sprue. Well, both sprues are the same, so we'll just look at uh, just the one sprue. As you can see. They've got a bit of detailing on there, 200 litre, uh, 45 gallon for the 45 gallon drums. I uh, can't really see, make out what that is on there. Uh, I've handled a lot of 45 gallon drums in my life, but I've never seen, you know, the 200 litre as big as that on the end of a, a, a drum. I could be wrong, but... If I was doing them, I think I would take that off. Uh, I don't think it looks. I don't think it looks right for some unknown reason. It just don't don't strike me as being right. But it wouldn't be no effort to get rid of that. The smaller printing. Let's see if we can uh, uh, get that a little bit clearer. The smaller printing. Yes, to me that would be something that would be stamped into. A drum lid uh, just to sort of indicate what was in it or 
but uh, the 200 litre bit I think is a little bit a bit large for me I would I would take that off anyway the drums nicely done uh, they are a lot thinner I can't really show you hang on let's move the camera up. Now, let's see if we can uh, do a little bit of refocusing. Yes, we can. And them edges are so much thinner than the other ones because I bought a set to go on a diorama. They look pretty thick there, but that's the inner lip. But the actual edge of it is extremely thin and by the time you get by the time you get because it tapers up and the lid sits into it so it's going to give it a nice thin edge to it to me they're a lot better looking and then bought them sort of more realistic right I'm going to bring the camera back down again sorry about all this right. Just make sure we're focused properly here. And that's it, it's nice and crisp. The actual drums and that, uh, I like the little uh, dents and that where they're being rolled around. And I like the idea of these bit more solider ridges around it for rolling them. And also on these, you do get, uh, they've already put the hole in the top of the drum which uh, I've not actually seen that before well not on British drums anyway on modern day drums they've uh, but uh, I suppose it would have been on there correct me if uh, you know different then we've got some hand pumps and the taps <coughs> excuse me not quite sure what the taps are for really don't know that sort of baffled me uh, then we move across now we've got the jerry can lids which all look pretty nice and the handles now they're in a set of three which is a lot better now if I just take that away for a second and I bring this one in from the other set as you can see you've only got a handle one so you've got one either side so it's only two handles so you know that is all you get I know some of these are, uh, are American uh, they these these ones are German uh, I think then the ones with the X's are an, uh, allied or American so if you wanted to make them look authentic I don't know if you're going to need to, you know, if you get this sort of set. But there's no difference in price. Uh, they're both about three ninety-five a set. So uh, I'm looking at it now. This set might be better uh, because you've got the three handles. You've got the individual uh, like spouts with the catches on, which you haven't got on the other set. Uh, they're a lot more cleaner and crisper because this is a later a later mould so all in all I'm quite pleased pleased with that, that these will be going on to another diorama but I would definitely be taking a 200 litre off because uh, to me that just looks wrong if you know different if you if you know that, uh, that that sort of thing was printed on the end of fuel drums let me know because I would be quite interested uh, to find out if not I might even go and have a little look on the internet and see uh, see what they come up with but them serial numbers and that on that that I would be quite happy to leave that on because that would be uh, something that would be printed into a drum uh, what we got here oh just some more caps uh, these little caps are for your drums uh, just there, great big huge finger in the way. Let's go. 
and you've got some snaps there, you've got this one opened which is nice because the last ones are out to drill out and you've got the caps if you decide to fill them also have them lead on the side, unscrewed and just lead there with the with the hand pumps into it which would look pretty cool yeah, yeah all in all I'm quite happy with them and uh, I know this is only a short one but at least you get to have a good look. We never did the back side of it, which you're not really going to see. One suggestion though, if you're going to do any damage on these uh, barrels, which I, I did, is to actually cut these pins out first. Uh, because it makes it very difficult to try and crush the actual barrel and make it look uh, they sort of like really strengthen it up too much so what I did I cut them out on my on my last one super glued everything together and then I immersed it in uh, boiling water and very slowly uh, let, let it heat up and then crushed them and manipulated them around and they didn't turn out too bad if you if you've seen that diorama of the bridge but uh, they didn't turn out too bad but all in all I'm quite happy with this set I shall buy I'm definitely going to buy another one of these to keep on my shelf for future dioramas alright thank you very much for joining me